Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan111, and welcome back to Nova Arcana, Untold Stories number 7 by RenderXR, and behind me is the Nova Arcanium. <laughs> so we have kind of like the title dungeon here at the end. Um, I think I would prefer, I think I have enough blocks that I can afford to do it, just to get rid of some of the lava right here as we walk over. And right at the start, I can't tell how safe or not this is going to be like did he put barrier blocks here he did i thought it would probably be something you could just safely walk up just because even though it looks kind of crazy i'm going to shift over it just in case there's a hole in the barriers um but it would be kind of silly if all these gaps were like actual gaps that you had to place blocks over uh in order to get there because that would just be kind of like a tedious start to the area so i kind of expected that there were going to be barrier blocks here uh, and so I'm glad to see that it is actually the case. We can look back on the Domes of Doom and the Great Web, I think it was called. Don't know that we could see the cathedral over there. So yeah, let's just kind of shift our way up here. Shifting will hopefully ensure that we don't end up falling off if there is one hole somewhere in the barriers because Render is a big meanie. And... I think based on the fact that I had forgotten this when we first got into these intersection four last areas, the fact that I can't see quote unquote sky uh, below me, I think means there is a floor way down there. Um, but I still don't really care to find out. <laughs> I brought a bunch of ender pearls on the bar. I've got lots of golden apples on the hot bar. I've got some fire resist potions since obviously there's I guess it's not lava, I guess it's like magma box there, but I imagine there's going to be fire inside. I've got a bunch of other potions, I've got lots of blocks. I'm about as well prepared as I think I could be to take on a final dungeon. And I guess it doesn't look like, okay, something is happening right there, but it's not spawner particles, it's some other type of particles. It's command block particles, it would appear that are here to say, ooh, this place is spooky, something, something, something. Oh, okay, that's actual magma cubes. And I reached something here. Yep, here's the aforementioned render leaves a hole while you're all of a sudden looking at the spooky particles. I could probably do this and then keep shifting my way up. Yeah, prefer to do that. Ooh, I just heard some sound I don't recognize. Not sure how I feel about that. Did you know netherite armor reduces knockback? Yes, I did. That's one of the reasons I am wearing it. P.S. If you lag in this area, turn down particles. There are a ton. All right. Spooky sounds. That I don't recognize. Fire. And crystal thingy Madugar. Gosh. <laughs> Render sure knows how to do visual effects. Wow. Okay, we heard magma cubes uh, at some point, so I definitely have to look up there for those guys. And do I have my... I do have this thing, the Flask of Lingering Flame, which can be effective against those guys. Oh, man. This is crazy. And I can't tell. I don't know that I see an objective anywhere up here, but it definitely looks like something up here we can climb. I also wonder if there's going to be like teleports. There's definitely like some stairs to climb out to the sides over here where there's loot. I'm definitely not fond of loot in a final dungeon. Um... I presume that these are like gas spawners, and so basically they are there as a deterrent to say, don't just try to go flying up here. And these things, I guess, are like the healers with the end dragon, but I think Render's just using them for visual effect. Um... And let's see, this is sitting on a little bit of bedrock, but it's still probably going to explode at some point. So let's just go ahead 
Okay, and it gets rid of some gravel and different things that were going to fall down there. And so that would have been a potential threat for me regardless. Um, there is another end crystal thingy right up here. I can hit this thing. There we go. Did it break anything open in the ceiling? No, because the ceiling is bedrock. Uh, and I'm going to wait for just a second to make sure that there isn't, like, all of a sudden a lava pool that's flowing down over this. I guess I could just stand up there. Nothing else is really coming at me. So let's just take a peek at what just exploded up there and see if there's anything right above the doorway. Let's also actually do that and just watch what happens as the water goes down. We can check that out in a moment. It's going to take the water a second to get down there. Uh, it did blow up something up here. Hold on, there's a block. Oh, chest? And ender pearls. Oh! Interesting. Okay, I did pick them all up. So there was a chest of five ender pearls? Five's kind of an odd number. That appears to have been here. I wonder if there was a chest under that thing as well. There's definitely loot chests there and there that don't have end crystals sitting right atop them. And then I'm curious to know if there's like a uh, cascading effect. Uh, that one did hit that. It looked like it blew up the two corners potentially as well, but not the far corner. So I wonder if I should like go ahead and like take out some of these end crystal thingies before I even head over there. So I'll do a couple of them, I suppose, because I'm not sure what we're really getting ourselves into here. Five is an odd number. The math checks out. That's right. I am just that clever. I don't like the fact that there are sounds that I don't know what the sounds are. I also... This is not cobblestone right here, right? This is a different block. Oops. That I don't immediately recognize. I'm not sure if it's something that rendered retextured or what. And then what happened to our water down here? Okay. It is normal, quote-unquote, normal lava doing normal lava things. And right now, I don't see any spawners that can really get me. So, we are going to begin the dangerous task of bridging. We're going to just do a one-wide bridge, because we're not going to spend a gazillion blocks. And we're going to be wary of the fact that there's dark spaces up here in this area that I'm currently in, which could spawn random mobs. All right, so that skeleton. Uh, where was he? I should have taken a better look to get eyes on him. I do see a magma cube way down there. Oh, I just saw a magma cube fall like out of the ceiling. That's not good. Are there going to be long range sp spawners from above me? That would be not good. Good thing I had my netherite armor on. That's right. To reduce the knockback. Okay, I saw the skeleton now. He's inside the cobwebs. He fell from somewhere higher up. So there's a skeleton right here. And there's cobwebs on a platform. There's another skeleton in there. Okay, he's gone. And maybe right around here is where there's a platform that's dropping some of those guys. I'm not sure. Uh, but I did do another water bucket, which kind of made an ugly mess. Let's try to get a better look at the ugly mess. So I'm going to do this. I see. It's just because it's so lumpy down here in the lava. Uh, we do have a bunch of ender pearls. There is definitely some places now down on the bottom that I've water bucketed, which should make for safe-ish landing spots. Oh, there's those little guys in the nether who swim around in the lava who might be, like, friendly or something. I read a little bit about them after I encountered them in the uh, the Netherlands area of this map. Um, so maybe it's some of those guys, and maybe they're making the creaky noises that I don't know. Okay. So let's try one up here. Okay, I hear the ghast. I heard a creeper. Not too enthused. Crap. All right, well, 
Okay, it was the creepers riding the spiders. Cave spiders. We've seen them before. We explicitly set up this area, so we would be kind of safe if we fall. So we're happy that we did that. Uh, we are going to need a way to get back. Uh, this guy's also going to be a pain, so let's do this. That's a good way to uh, kill these guys, as I learned from Kit. Zing, zang, zoom, zizzle, bloop, 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 bloop. Okay, and give me all the souls. Thank you. All right, so we're going to need a way to get back, and I probably have just the thing. There is one gas who's way over there. Oh, he can actually see me through the lava there. Okay, so if that's the case, let's just get a little bit higher up so that we can see him. Go ahead and take him out. Uh, he moved away, so I didn't get a chance to get him. Staircases wouldn't be bad over here as well, but I was going to use my scaffolding since I have so much of it. All right, got one hit. Okay, we got the ghast. Great. I did not get a good look at uh, where everything was happening up there. I wonder, the staircase will be durable, whereas the scaffolding will not be durable. So I think I'm tempted to go ahead and make myself a staircase, even though it's going to cost a lot of blocks. And I should leave some light down here, just to reduce the uh, chance of a random creeper spawning on the spot and being unwelcome. Unwelcome, a creeper? Who would have thought? And I need to remember that I do have fire resistance potions, and so if I do fall in the place where an ender pearl isn't immediately going to save me, I can simply put on some fire resistance and go swimming around in this place if I really want to. So let's try to keep that in mind. I think I need to go one higher before I go over to the side. Oh, I'm in in a, in a thing here. Uh, am I in any danger up here? Yes. So let's try to get rid of said danger. I hear another one too that I'm a little bit more worried about because I don't know why it would be in this region. Let's do this too. Okay, let's back up and take a look at what we're looking at again. Okay, so I broke some skeleton spawners. Somewhere above me or somewhere, somewhere, there was a gas spawner, and then I didn't see where the magma cube spawner is. So those are the next things that I need to try to lay eyes on. Um, yeah, so let's just see if that can happen. Okay, here is a magma cube. Here is a magma cube. Where are your spawners? And what happens past here? Uh... There is another staircasey thing. Crap. Okay. And you just like fell out of the ceiling from somewhere, which I don't like. I see something spinning there. Maybe. But I don't like that I don't know where that guy came from. Okay. This guy, I do know where he came from. I just saw him spin over there. Okay. He's out of the way. There's definitely more stuff over here. I'm not sure how we get there, but here's how I choose to do it for right now. And I think I can shift over this and not take damage. Not that I was going to take a lot of damage from this anyway. Oh, I should eat some rabbit stew. So let's definitely put that on my agenda. And then for right now, I'm going to do this. Uh, just to kind of get out of here and get a better sense of what's going on. Okay, so I spawned some blazes. Um, I got a little bit of light over there. There was another staircase that was kind of like going down below it, but did it go to anywhere? I don't think it actually went anywhere. Uh, yeah, it looks like it just kind of, like, ends down there, so I'm not sure what its story is. I guess you could probably, like, jump off of this one and fall down onto that one. Uh, is another way that you could get over to the next section, in terms of just, like, parkouring it. Okay, but I should definitely, I should eat a rabbit stew. So we'll do that. Uh, and I don't know that I need the speed or the strength or any of that kind of stuff right now, and I still have enough blocks on the bar that I feel comfortable with that. So let's try to make a push. Once again. Oh, here we go. I found a spawner. Alright. 
So there was a fun path right here, and I just didn't see it originally. I'm just going to jump over this. And let's try to make our way over here. Why not? Great. And then let's try to do a similar thing over here. Let's do get rid of the skeleton who's going to be constantly shooting me. And actually, I could probably also go ahead and just break this guy. And then we'll try to get over here and do this guy. Hey, skeleton. All right. Who's shooting me over here? I thought there was somebody, and now I don't see him. That might... That guy spawned far enough away that he didn't get caught in the cobwebs. You, where did you just spawn from? I do not like you. That's not a good spot. I see it. It's right below me here. How, how do I deal with this? I guess this. Darn it. I lost my uh, focus on the spawner. This is not working as well as I thought, but it worked well enough. Okay, happy with that strategy. Let's get the water bucket back. We also created some more uh, potentially safe spot down there. Actually, not very large due to the shape of the floor. Uh, this is something I don't feel like map makers do enough of, is oddly shaped lava floors that will make things difficult on the player. Uh, so once again, GG render. We're doing good stuff. I think I might see a sign possibly with some loot over there. Not interested in loot. Um, I will put light here just to make sure we don't end up with random spawns on these platforms. And once again, I hear Magma Cube. There's, uh, hmm. There's a redstone torch underneath this. Is there something else here? I don't think so. I guess that's just for looks from the bottom, but why would you be down on the bottom looking at it? I'm not sure. I find that curious. All right, uh, and then there were some blaze spawners over here, so I should probably try to go after them next. And I don't have fire resistance right now, but let's not worry about it for the moment. Oh, this is uh, falling blocks, except for if I put water on this, uh, it does still fall before it hardens, because it was concrete powder. Blocks, very high. Actually sounds pretty good. That's a nice chest for this area. But let's do a little bit of that, and let's see if we can get these before they spawn again. We did not. I'm not going to be on fire for that long, and the fire is not going to damage me that much. So I'm not going to worry about being on fire. And instead, just do that. And then I don't think we're necessarily in an area where there's a bunch of other... Uh, things about to spawn, and I don't think there's any kind of trap underneath this chest. <laughs> a single gravel block. Oh, Render, you think you're so clever. You think you're so clever, and it's true. Because you are so clever. That's why we play our maps. Render has been very good at uh, defying expectations throughout this map. Okay, there's some kind of tower over here that we need to go in, and I think I hear a uh, drowned, probably nadir dweller render kind of mob somewhere. So I guess we should probably try to head into one of these towers and discover that. I still have six minutes in my haste and resistance, and I guess let's go ahead and so I don't have to kneel down on all these fire blocks. Do that. I don't know what this block is right here. I don't know if that's some new nether block as well, or what's going on there. Okay, so, you guys are here. Where did you spawn from? I don't immediately see a spawner in here. It's possible they fell down from a higher level. Ouch! Oh boy! Speaking of possible higher level... Oh, you guys are here. I don't love that, and we just did spawn another ghast somewhere too. Okay, I see the ghast. I didn't manage to kill the ghast yet. Okay, killed the ghast. Great. Uh, so there's a bunch of creepers and skeletons on here, and I wonder, they're spawning on the outside of the building too, which could be a big threat to me. So I think... Let's go ahead and switch to the glowstone blocks, because they'll help in multiple ways. But I think let's do this. And then...
this. Alright, I think it might be safe to go in here. Oh crap! Uh, there's a creeper somewhere. I don't know where. And this guy's found me! Uh, is he behind blocks? Probably. I hear the nadir dweller again, which doesn't make me happy. Ah, there's creeper. He's on the stairs the next level up. Got it. Okay. So there's gonna be more creepers like upstairsness. Let's do this. And this. And I don't know this. <laughs> Alright. Skeletons out here. Let's just do this. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Let's just do that, because I don't think I need to deal with them. Kinda similarly out here. Uh, it's just skeletons. Uh, there looks like there might be a place to go, though. So I guess I should go check it out. Uh, let's go check it out really quick. Um, where does this go? Oh, it goes over to that loot. Which isn't super interesting to me, given the previous loot. But I'm gonna go check out at least one more loot chest, so... I guess this will be it. This doesn't look particularly safe. Alright, these guys have found me. I have some good weapons. Alright. Uh, but we definitely, it looks like they're on the next floor, so we definitely need to get over there and check that out. Um, and I can't see exactly who... Oh, crap. Crap. Okay, where did they come from? I didn't see where they came from, and I feel like that's a higher priority now. Because... Uh, creepers riding spiders. Yeah, is not good because it means I could fall onto places and there's a lot of pl bad places to fall around here. So I think we do need to do a couple of things. One is to try to make it a little bit safer to fall in various spots. One is to heal up, since we've taken some damage. And then one is to try to get upstairs and deal with the spawners that are spawning above us. Um, also, oh, there's like another room over here, and there's definitely a spawner up there, so let's try to make our way over there. We can check out the chest later. Oh boy! Okay, once again, netherite armor, very good armor. Uh, that looks like a gas spawner, I suppose, so I'm not sure where the super creeper spawner was. It might have blown up. Just in case that blows up any guys, we're gonna do that. And this gas spawner looks like it's about to spawn, so I'm going to try to kill the ghast first. Oh no, that was a super creeper spawner? Really? Oh no, it is a gas spawner. So there's a super creeper spawner somewhere else still, and I don't know where. Maybe it's right on top of the gas spawner or something? Or maybe... I don't know, it's very noisy on the ceiling, and so that makes it hard for me to look with my eyeballs to see what I'm seeing. So I'm going to stand here. Ah, there's a super creeper spawner. I see it. Uh, let's do this. Boop. And a boop. And a boop. Ah, uh, we got another one. Okay. Super creeper spawner down. Now let's go after the ghasts. I don't really want to fall. Crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I see him. This area is quite challenging. There's a lot happening, and a lot of very real threats, uh, despite my armor. But I think my usual style of just kind of like slowly try to advance and uh, get rid of threats one by one uh, is going to work over time in this area. So we'll just keep doing what we're doing. I'm going to have to go back for blocks in the not-too-distant future. Um, and I am curious to see what's in this chest. Oh, blocks! How terrific is that? Correct answer is quite terrific. I will take the ladders in case they end up turning out to be valuable. Um, but I think that's good enough for now. Okay, don't need to go back for blocks right at the moment. And I don't need to be using glowstone all the time. So let's do that. Uh, and now can I go back to trying to get to this thing? Okay, so I see the creeper riding the spider. And so did he spawn from up there? Possibly. Um, while I have some height here, I guess I didn't really leave myself with the height here, but let's do this. 
I wonder if we can branch over from this height without getting too many ceiling gas coming our way. I think it is possible. So if I go from here straight over there, yeah, we could do some good stuff, I think. Okay, I just saw him fall. I'm still a few blocks away and I'm actually above them, which is good. Okay, he's just gonna fall right over. There we go. Here's another one. He's not gonna fall necessarily, and also I hear a phantom now, so let's deal with the phantom. I'm glad there's so much uh, bedrock here. Oh! Cave spider. You surprised me. I don't know why you surprised me, but you did. Um, I've lost my... Uh, one of my advantageous things, which is the ability to sprint. Phantom, you wanna go right above me and drop me a uh, soul? That'd be cool. I'm actually going to wait for the phantom to come to me so I can get the soul. There we go. Okay, got the soul. Um, let's run over here. That wasn't exactly running, but that's because I still need more soul. Okay, we got that thing. The phantom spawner is where? Where is your spawner, phantom guy? Ah, probably right there. No, that's a blaze spawner. Oh, the blaze spawner's in the floor below the chest, and the phantom spawner's up there. Okay, I understand what we're looking at. Uh, very noisy ceiling, once again. Hard to see things flying around. Three, two, one. Now. Okay. Oh! Uh, don't know what just exploded there. Which is probably not a good thing. There's definitely more creepers there for some reason. Alright, I need to take out the phantom spawner, so I'm just going to kill this phantom ASAP. I do have my sprint back. Uh, I do need to get this. And I'm probably not killing the phantoms as fast as they're spawning, so I definitely need to go after the spawner. I'm going to kill one more. I'm going to try to kill one more. Ah, they're just too hard to aim at. With all the particles and everything. It's too hard to see. Yeah, I just missed like 10 shots on that guy. Ridiculous. Okay, and here's another one now. Alright, I got that one. There's still another one flying. It's going to be a while before he tries to fly back. Alright, I was wrong. Are they spawning from somewhere else? I'm not sure. Oh! You can get your way up here. I see now where the creeper came from before. Understood. Okay. I have broken his ability to get me. This is not going well for me right now, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to retreat back here. Deal with another long-range guy. Eat another golden apple. And now that I understand what's happening over there, hopefully I'll be able to do a better job. Oh, these phantoms are really annoying, though. I want to despawn, I think, some of the phantoms. Because I think this has become untenable. So let's do this. Um, and we had a chest, so I just want to see if there's anything I want to put down or get some stuff out of my inventory. I'm still happy with the amount of blocks that I have. Somehow we ended up with non-stacking ender pearls. Not sure when or how that happened. Um, our resistance is worn off, so let's go ahead and eat some more of this. And I guess there aren't other things that I really need to put down. <laughs> Hello and welcome. All right. So I didn't get a chance to see what was there. I do know there's spawner there, spawner there. Ah, oh, there's another way from the bottom to get there. I want to check out at least one of these side chests to see if it is actual loot. I don't actually want the loot. I just want to know what renders up to. And that also looks potentially like it still could be a super creeper. Uh, in the side of this building that I somehow didn't manage to get. So I also like to see if I can just hit that guy from range before I go back over there. Because they are still somewhat a danger. Okay, I did manage to hit that guy, and he probably did take some fall damage somewhere, and so let's imagine that he might be dead. Because imagining that he might be dead makes me feel better about progress that we're making in the area. Okay. We'll take that little bit of damage. It's not a problem. If 
there's definitely magma cube, magma cube spawner somewhere that I still have not found. I don't think it's this guy. I think that was the skeletons. And that's just going to go various places. I hear a magma cube, but I don't see a magma cube. Which does not make me happy. Let's try going up here again. Oh boy. Found him. Okay, there's a magma cube spawner directly above me, I think. Oh gosh, and a bunch of super creepers. Okay, can I take these guys on? I think my bow is very good, and the answer is yes. So let's do that. I get a bunch of souls for my trouble. And this would be a good place to do this, actually. Oh, crap. Uh, I need to eat this. I need to eat another one and run away. And I need to get my sword back in my bar, because I just took the sword off the bar to drink the other thing. So let's do that. And do I want to hit myself with the regen? I think I do. I think now is a good time for it. Boop. All right. That'll help a whole lot in terms of getting some hearts back over the next few seconds. Um, I think we did blow up most of the spawners there, but we probably also blew up the staircase, which is a problem. And ah. Where are you coming from, you crazy guy? Get away from me. I'm trying to do a thing. I'm trying to do a thing with the stuff. You guys are not helping. Uh, so, we did blow up most of the staircase, and there is still a spawner right there. Okay. So we need to get rid of the spawner, whatever it is. And I am pretty hardy right now. Okay. It's more super creepers. Great. Okay. Oh, boy. We're fine. Everything's fine. Once again, very good armor. Might have mentioned it a few times. All right, but we have blown the heck out of this tower. Um, so, I'm having fun. I don't know that I'm making much progress. I think it's time for me to stand back just a little bit and try to figure out if I want to make progress, what I need to do. So, ugly tower. Leading over to... Uh, I still have a goal, which is I do want to know what's in this chest. Uh, so we're going to make that goal happen. But we're going to do it a different way than we were doing it before. Um, yeah. All right, regen probably just wore off, but we're at max kind of everything. So I am going to get over here. Um, should I use ladders? Nah. Nah. Okay, so here is the progress that we've made before. And we're going to try to run up there this time, because that is that is Creepers Riding Skeletons, that is Blazes, and that is Phantoms. So those are the three spawners I know of that remain over in this section. And we're going to go take them out. Because we are good like that. Kava! One down. I destroyed this on purpose earlier. Uh, because that was a smart thing to do, and now there's phantoms, and they're going to be coming for me, but I have a ceiling above me, and I can break the blaze spawner, actually, while the phantoms can't see me due to the ceiling. So let's get rid of the blaze spawner, great. Not fast enough to not spawn the blazes, but still pretty fast. Okay, blazes down. And the phantom spawner is actually probably directly above me here, although there's a chest in the way, so I wouldn't be able to just kind of like dig up through it. So if I want to get to... Yes, this is YouTube episode time. Uh, and yeah, yikes is a good description of everything that's happening here. There's a lot of yikes. Uh, but that's good. That's the kind of excitement that we want. When you're down at half a heart from super creepers exploding. That's a good final area, probably. I'm just not good enough at hitting the phantoms. There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go this way. Okay, so from here. I want to go here. And I want to break this spawner. It's the last thing I do. Okay. 
Phantom Spawner down. Now if I can kill two or three more Phantoms, we can finally check out these chests in peace. And I'll have my information about what loot it is that I'm going to ignore. <laughs> this was all to satisfy my own curiosity. Okay. You're down. You're down. What do we have? Tools very high and potions low. All right. Um, didn't notice there were any souls nearby that I could use there. All right, so some basic potions. And some of these. I'll take the golden apples. I'll take some more torches. Uh, rest of the stuff is not really stuff that I need. Uh, so we'll just drop it in the chest. Okay, so not exciting loot. Uh, which, there isn't any loot that could be exciting at this point. There's nothing that I feel like I need or want. Uh, although I might need to repair my netherite chest plate at some point. How are we doing in terms of episode time? Gosh, I spent a lot of time kind of getting nowhere. And I didn't get nowhere. I lit up this whole half and got to one of these loot chests. I think there was a super creeper spawner on the roof of this place. So before I go, I would like to see if I could take out this. And then I'd have the front left half of the bottom half of this place done. Gosh. Uh, but at least I'll have gotten a sense of the place, and so hopefully more of it will be able to go faster in the future. Uh, but I think that'll be our first for a YouTube episode, kind of like first foray into this area. So let's make a staircase up from here, out of bricks. I'm going to need to go back for some more bricks, probably, among various regroupings I do between this episode and the next one. All right, if I do this, uh, they might have blown up. This might be all blown up. That's good. All right, that is good. I think also the two towers here that look very similar. Ah, there might be... I see. There's a way to climb from the bottom half to the top half. I see it now. And where did you come from? It's all gas spawners there in the ceiling. So there must be a magma cube spawner somewhere around this height, I think, that I just am not seeing. But I'm still not seeing it, so there isn't really a whole lot I can do about it if I don't see it. So let's not worry about it. So instead, I'm just going to come over here. And okay, there's definitely going to be some magma cubes over here. And it sounds like we also got some blazes somewhere. We're still low enough that we're not spawning the gas above us. Oh, but this is a gas. Uh, should I just run over there and get them? Yeah. Ah, uh, there's something else, though. Uh, let's do this. Oop. Oop. Hey. Alright, gassed. Really? There we go. There's one shot. And there's two. Okay, great. So, did I spawn another Nader Dweller? I don't think I did. Okay, so this time we're going to run over here. We're going to kill the Gas Spawner. We're going to kill the Blaze Spawner? Question mark? Or was that the Nader Dweller Spawner? I'm not sure. Blazes might just be over here. All right. And I don't need to go to the right half of the room. I think I'm just going to focus on the left half the whole way. Uh, dragon... Oh! Is there going to be another spell? That is something I did not anticipate if I'm reading that. If I'm reading into that the way that I think I am. Um, I should have placed a torch over here. Dragon flame. Oh, it's a bow. Uh, it's not a bad bow. I'll take it. Uh, and it's given me some more arrows, which I'll also take because I have gone through a bunch of arrows. Um, yeah, okay. So, 
All right, we can feel like we've accomplished something. Basically, the left hand and middle portions of the bottom half of this dungeon are now peaceful. I have seen that there's a way to scroll around the back in order to climb up to the upper half of the dungeon, which is what I'm going to need to do next. I do see that there's magma cubes coming out of the sky, which I'm still not particularly happy about. Uh, but there's not a whole lot that we can do about that right now. But I think as far as the YouTube episode goes, that is good solid progress that's kind of in a chunk. Uh, so we will do one of these in order to run back over here and head out. Uh, so on the YouTube folks, I hope as always that you guys are having a great day. And I'll see you again soon where we make some more progress in this crazy dungeon. And for those on Twitch, stick around and we'll continue to make some more progress together after I go regroup.